We're here along today with the Sports Corner for the Premier League of Darts in Leeds. As you can see behind me, we've got the Bullseye Math School going on with some of the children from Leeds. Uh, we interviewed Joe Cullen and we've got plenty of other content coming out over the next week. So check out our channel, which is the Sports Corner, and check out our Twitter as well, which is the Darts Corner. We've got lots of content to come here at the First Direct Arena in Leeds. Welcome along to the Sports Corner. We're here today with Joe Cullen at the Bullseye Math School. Joe, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, It's, uh, it's great to be back in Yorkshire. I've been... Looking forward to this Premier League more than any other, so yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Of course, being in Leeds, this is kind of like the home tie, one of the closest uh, places like Manchester as well, I think. Do you feel like this week's going to be a bit of a home tie for you? Yeah, it should be, yeah. It's, it's pretty ironic the way the fixtures have worked out as well, because I um, had my debut in Cardiff against Johnny in his hometown, and then I play Johnny tomorrow night, you know, in my home county, if you like. So, yeah, I'm expecting a good reception. Um, Hopefully a lot of them don't know Sport Man United. Uh, but apart from that, yeah, I should get a good reception being a Yorkshire boy. As you said yourself, you've got the game against Johnny Clayton. It's a repeat of the round one fixture. Uh, Johnny Clayton averaged 104 for all of his games at the weekend, 111 in the final. You've got a tough task on your hands. How do you feel going into that game? Yeah, me, me and Johnny spend a lot of time together. Um, I think at the minute I see him more than my wife and the kids. So <laughs> it, it's a bit of a different proposition when you're playing a good friend. You know, I think um, form goes out the window a little bit and... It's just about just getting their victory on the night and John will be up for it and so will I, so uh, it should be a great, great game. Looking at the table, currently fourth, sat in the playoffs. It's very, very tight right now. Do you look at any games? Do you assess each match and think maybe there's a game I can win or are you just taking it each game at a time? Yeah, I'd be lying if I said I didn't. Um, I'm not going to be disrespectful and say which players are which, but th there's more favourable games than others and I'm sure people look at me in, uh, in, a, in a similar fashion as well. So. Um, yeah, I think I'd be naive if I said that I didn't, but it's every game's tough, you know, there's eight players, probably the best on form at the minute in the world, so there's definitely no easy games. Absolutely, and looking of course at the year at Hull, you've won the Masters, you've won two Pro Tours, you went on the 18 game win streak. Just talk about that 18 game win streak, how did you feel going into each Pro Tour knowing that you were on this ridiculous run? Did you feel like every game you could win or were you looking thinking someone is eventually going to beat me? No, it, it, was, um, it was a really strange one, I, di I didn't actually play that well, but when when I needed a big game, I, I seemed to produce one. I just sort of beat what was in front of me at the time. I had a couple of low averages, but it, it's just about just getting over the line. Um, I think uh, some of the games, maybe people probably should have beat me, but I think because of the Premier League and the way I am at the minute, I think there was a bit put off beating me because I've, I've, I've been in a similar position myself playing you know, the Premier League players. and You're not scared to beat them, but you when they play bad you, you think you need to jump all over it and it just it just doesn't materialise like that but yeah to win I think it was 19 games actually oh, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah to win that many games at any standard is, is pretty special so to do it at the best standard in the world is you know shows where my game's at at the minute Absolutely and obviously being in the Premier League as well having the Pro Tours you've got to kind of adjust to the busy schedule how are you finding it are you practising more are you looking at certain Pro Tours thinking these are maybe events that I want to go to some of them obviously might not how are you finding it Yeah um, I think I was, a, I was a little bit naive going into the Premier League because I used to think that some of the Premier League players when they missed tournaments I used to think they were a bit lazy and yeah a bit sort of prima donnas but I, I get it now you know I've, I've never been this side of it and it's it's full on it's constant it's a lot of time away from home a lot of time away from my family so I think uh, I missed Niederhausen the other week because it just just made perfect sense to miss two pro tours in Germany there's, there's no value in me missing two in Barnsley when it's 25 minutes from my house so yeah I, I think I'm picking and choosing and trying to manage the calendar a little bit better just while the Premier League's on yeah and last question for myself. I asked this, uh, Johnny, at the World Championships. When you've had a good tournament or you've had a good event, do you have a, a certain pre uh, after-match ritual, maybe a certain meal that you like to go for to celebrate your victories? Um, it, de it depends. It depends if we're staying over on the night. If, if we've won the tournament and then we stay over, we, um, we normally go for a curry. Uh, obviously, being from Bradford, it's, I think it's pretty, uh, pretty standard. But, but no, not really. It's... As, as the tournament whittles down, there's obviously less and less players in coming towards the end. So normally you're left there with a member of family or a friend that you've taken with you. So I think you're just, uh, you're just taking the moment and just you're happy to win. Joe, absolute pleasure as always. Thank you very much. Cheers, thank you.